Hello, friends and lovers. Welcome to Rotwood. This is an upcoming co-op action roguelike, and it's made by the same devs as Don't Starve Together. So, of course, it's going to have to get my attention. Uh, this is just a playtest that's available only on Steam right now, but it seems like they're adding anyone that wants to. So you can click on the Steam page in the description if you're interested in joining it and checking it out. It is very short right now as just a playtest. There isn't a ton to see. It's more so just kind of getting a grasp of the onlineness. And unfortunately, I couldn't find anyone to play with me for this video. So we're going to check out the single player. And I don't really have any more information around things like release date or pricing or if which consoles is going to be on. None of that info is really out there for us yet. Anyway, we're at the beginning of a run. We have to choose a power uh, to start ourselves off. So let's see what we can do here. When you kill an enemy, you gain 75% run speed for two seconds. Your attacks no longer push enemies away. Is that a good thing? I don't know. Your attacks no longer push enemies away. It doesn't sound that good. Now we get to choose the door here. Top is what they call Tefra. That is the typical gold currency style. And to the right, we have another power that we can choose to uh, improve ourselves with. Now it has... The combat is a bit more like a almost beat-em-up uh, style game. Already got hit there. So we have our roll move, as we can see. Then you got a light attack and you got a heavy attack and you can chain these things together to kind of do something unique. But you got to learn the combos and they only they only really tell you one to start off. But yeah, sort of your average arena style chamber here where you got to kill all the enemies before you can move on. And boom, there we go. But I like this. We have like a dash attack here that I kind of like where we spin forward with the spear. There are at least two weapons right now. The spear is actually the second weapon. I'm hoping to show you the hammer too after this. Lucky roll. Hmm. When you have less than 500 health, it deal 50% more damage. That's not bad. The quality of this roll was upgraded because of your luck. Lucky you. Oh, so this is a higher rarity. Is that what that red? It kind of has like a red outline. Is that what that means? I'm going to guess so. This just increases run speed. I guess we'll be taking cornered coyote then. Let's see. I think the resource, if you go up there, it doesn't have a use currently. I don't think it does, at least. I've only done uh, like sort of one and a half runs prior to this. Wow. And it's pretty tough, actually. It's not too easy. You got to get used to some of the different aspects, you know, like you can't just interrupt whatever you're doing with a roll. Like I'm so used to, you know, like the Souls games where you just... You know, you get into trouble when you're in the middle of a big heavy attack. Just roll out of it and you don't got to worry. Yeah, you can't really get away with that here. You start attacking and you're stuck attacking kind of situation. So you got to be more patient, I guess, is the word. Let's attack this little thing. It's not going to hit the enemy, though. Get behind. Now, you might see some blue damage from time to time. I think that's just like a special way to deal more. What is that symbol? Oh, I actually don't know. Let's check it out. I mean, it kind of depends on the weapon. I'm actually not positive what the spear is. I know for the hammer it was you got to hit more than one enemy at once to get it. Maybe it's the same thing with the spear. And you do have heat hit streaks as we can see. If you can uh, get a lot of attacks quickly. But you need some powers or something to synergize in order to make good use of it it seems. Okay, there we go. Watch out. We do have a potion in our inventory already. Aye, yeah. Woo. And we can refill that potion if we ever have to use it. Almost got me. Okay. Select a skill. Oh, this is actually a bit different. I don't think I've ever seen this. Pound your fists together to gain a 10% critical chance on, until your next crit hit. A swappable action initiated by pressing the B skill. Huh. Heals for 3 health when eaten. Leaves behind a banana peel that inflicts knockdown on any target that steps on it. Regain 1 banana for every 1,000 damage dealt. See, the thing is, 3 health is like nothing. <laughs> it's like less than nothing, really. 1,000 damage dealt. We have 900 max HP, 720 current HP. Enemies hit you for like 100 a pop, basically. 
maybe that knockdown would almost be worth it, but I'm just going to take the fist pound, I think, here. Oh, I see our current uh, skill is the bottom left. Cross check, push an enemy away from you, creating space. Picking a new skill will replace the one you currently have. I know the skill uh, for the spear, the cross check one, felt pretty useless, so maybe this would be kind of okay. Let's keep getting more powers here for now. Avoid the currency. There's not a ton you can do with currency. In fact, the only thing I think I've been able to use. There we go. There's the crit chance increase. It's a refill the potion. Oh, come on. Yeah, that enemy hit us for like 90, I think. Hold on. We got to increase our crit chance temporarily there. Woo. So yeah, when I do the little poke like this, that is our light attack. That is me chaining a heavy attack to the end of the combo. This is the heavy attack alone. Now, sometimes it's it's a bit more of a fancy combo where they tell you to, you know, roll, turn around, and then hit a, a certain button, essentially. So it's not necessarily uh, all super straightforward. This one has increased rarity, I think. I noticed it's has a purple bar filled in here. Refill your potion each time you drink, heal an additional 50% and gain shield. Hmm. The only downside here, can I exit this menu? Oh, I think it, I accidentally skipped it because I hit the B button. Oh, that's really bad. Because <laughs> you can skip it to get money instead. Oh, I was hoping to put it down and use my potion and then pick it up. Uh, that's what I was thinking. I didn't get to read the other one. Well, tally a mistake for me, I guess. Let's check out the question mark here. What do you got, buddy? We live inside a dream. But who is dreaming? He holds out a hand offering a gift. Okay. When you kill an enemy, gain one stacks of on a roll. What the heck is on a roll? Hmm. I thought there was a way to open inventory here. And open this. Examine powers, it claims. I'm not really... Oh, wait. Here we go. Gain 1% damage each stack. Remove all stacks whenever you take damage. Oh, it's one of those. So every time I kill an enemy... Hmm. I get 1% damage, but when I get hit, I lose it all. One of those. But yeah, you might be a little reminiscent of, like, Cult of the Lamb from watching this. I mean, it definitely has that art style that don't starve, uh... I don't know, seemingly created in my eyes. Okay. You gotta remember to get that crit back up. Can't really see what that enemy's intention is. Woo! Yeah, I think there's definitely a, a few things that they could be doing that uh, would help the song. Number one, the UI in the top left, like that health bar, it's tiny. Why is it so small? Huh, I don't know what this is up here. Maybe we'll go that way. Uh, some things don't need as much space as others, but like all the numbers are super, super tiny. Right? Maybe it's more of a resolution problem. Oh, we can spend core stones, but I've never been here before, huh? Pound the head of your hammer into the ground, causing knockback to nearby enemies. So this is a skill? What do we got here? Bulbin, buddy, your dodge deals a knockback hit to enemies. Weapon damage dealt plus 100%. This is like equipment? Take less damage from mini boss rots. Your dodge is faster. Wow, we got some good stuff here. This is cosmetic, it looks, huh? Oh, this costs uh, the other currency. Oh, I do have uh, stuff for this. Okay, so I didn't think that this was actually in the playtest yet, but apparently it is. So, I kind of just want... There we go, we got a hat. I don't know if this is only for the run or what right now because those core stones hold over between runs so we might be able to keep all this actually that's too bad they don't let me open my inventory right now though i gotta say i don't know why they they don't let you okay what else, what else is going oh that dash is way faster look at that oh that's great 
Mimble, wake up. Our new armor patron hath deigned arrive. I hath eyes. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Should I start with the presentation or the function? Anyway, enjoy the playtest. Looking forward to getting better acquainted. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. All they got to say. Okay. So here we go. We can refill our potion again. Oh, so I can buy this. Hmm. Your light attack deals an extra 25 damage, but inflicts 25 damage to you when you miss. Oh god, that's scary, huh? But we can buy a power upgrade. When you perfect dodge, the next time you deal damage is guaranteed crit. Hmm. Oh, I can't afford that one anyway. Oh, you gotta hold it down. Okay, so we can upgrade a power. Probably. Oh, what do you think? The snowball effect? What does that upgrade into? Oh, you gain three stacks. That's a lot. So that goes from 1% to 3%. It's actually quite a bit. We're at 10% as it is. Now we're broke. We've spent everything. Beautiful. Okay. Still learning stuff here. All right. Now I think we're at a mini boss. The Great Yamo. Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't expect them to attack so quickly. But oh, dang. I feel like we deal like a lot of damage. Okay, I got kind of lucky there, I feel. Woo! Dash attack. Dash attack. All right. Not bad, really. All right, now I believe for this, you get to choose between two power, like special power. So we got the shield power or the electric power. Let's go electric, baby. Apply one charge in a large radius with your heavy attacks. What does charge do? On death starts a chain reaction. Chain reaction travels through all other charged enemies, consuming one charge and dealing damage. Apply two charge with your light attacks. Hmm. On enemy death, huh? I guess I'll take the heavy one. We can upgrade a power or get a new one. Hmm. Also kind of tough. We're just below 50% health, which is kind of perfect for some things. Oh, can we upgrade Snowball again? I don't know if it's upgradable again, actually. Which button is it again? It kind of looks like it is. Okay, we'll try. Okay, let's grab this. Oh, good. We don't even have to fight anything. Beautiful. Upgraded power. Oh, it costs money? Oh, dang. And they didn't let me choose the other one, weirdly. I wonder why. Now that I look at it, it looks kind of grayed out in a way. Oh, you'd have to have even less health for that to work anyway. But I don't even know if I'd really want that. Not that badly, at least. Well, that's too bad. That's a waste of a room, huh? What can you do, though, I guess? Okay. Just be careful. Don't get hit by stuff. No! Dang. I got hit by stuff. Dedicated myself to too many attacks, unfortunately. Woo! I feel like we dash further, too, now with that piece of equipment. I'm going to hold off on healing. I know our potion heals for 500, but we get that bonus damage when we're below 500 health, right? That's what it is. Oh, God. Okay. Didn't expect it to turn around. Woo. No, please. Okay, now we got to heal. <laughs> There's our potion, finally. This guy t likes to turn around sometimes. Okay, they got each other. <laughs> that was a rough chamber. That was pretty rough. And our snowball is not really balling at all. You know what I mean? I don't know if there's a cap to that, but typically when something like that is in a game, it's all about keeping up those stacks in order to uh, make good use of it. I remember that was the case in Cult of the Lamb big time. Don't you dare! Oh, See, I couldn't get out of the attack while I was in the middle of it. 
But I guess I should have just taken it easier. Come on, buddy. Hmm. Let them swing. Woo, that was close. No way. No way they got me like that. I mean, they did get me, but no way also, you know? Man, kind of flubbing. When you quick rise, heal for 50 health. When getting knocked down, tap dodge as you hit the ground. Oh, what's that called in melee? Your attacks deal more hit stun also. This one has a purple on it. Quick rise, huh? I don't know if I've ever even done that. Go into a question mark. We have no heal. Our health is getting low. Hello, buddy. Please help me. We live inside a dream, but who is dreaming? Offering a gift. I'll take it. Each time you critical hit, gain 2.5% crit chance for 5 seconds, I think it said. I don't recognize this symbol. Let's find out what this does for us. I uh, don't know yet. Interesting. Do-do-do. Whoa, buddy. <gasps> How did you achieve this? Dang it, I was I was doing okay. I was doing okay. Sure. Oh, not the big guy. I don't like the big guy. The windmill. Okay, he's down. All right, what is this? Oh, we get a, uh, like a special power or whatever, like a boss power. We'll try the shield one unless we want to do, let's do double electric to see if there's like a follow-up. When you dodge, drop an orb that applies two charge in a small radius two times. I don't know if that's that great, but yeah, we are doing that a lot, I guess. In fact, maybe in hindsight, because we do a lot of this dash attack here, maybe we should have done the light attack, but... Oh, well, here we are, you know. Okay, my friends. It's going to be different this time. Oh, that was really close. Come on, die. Something. Woo! All right. There we go. Oh, God. That was scary. Yeah, going all in on such a long attack like that. Oh, that was quick. Uh, is pretty frightening. All right, I think that's the shop at the top. But we kind of just need health. And this should refill our potion if we go this way. Which is what we really need, I think, now. Hello, friend. I wonder if they can let me... They'd let me refill it more than once here. Like, should I use it? Let's see. Uh, just as pleasure doing business. Maybe if I were to use it, should I use it? I think we're at the boss. Yeah, I should probably just use it instead of playing it risky. Let's try talking to them again just to make sure. Yeah, they won't let me do it more than once. Sad day. I believe this is the boss. Let's do it. Let's see if we can do it. We have 63% damage, so just don't get hit, right? Oh, maybe we go this more. Mother tree. All right. Oh, I immediately got hit. Tally mistake. Okay. Okay, you're done. Oh, I tried the dash away. It didn't work, as you can see. Okay, it's freaking out. Looks like we got some ads and stuff. But we currently have no other way to heal. Boss is coming back. It's dropping some stuff! And I immediately died. <laughs> they don't get a, give you a lot of time to react to that, unfortunately. 
Oh, uh, we did our best though. We unlocked uh, some new stuff to get, I guess. Uh, we got some core stones and everything. Now, let's find out because I actually don't know. That was the first time I had seen the shop in the game in the middle of a run, but apparently that's how you get your equipment. Do we keep that equipment? Again, I would assume so. Yeah, it looks like we do. Still got it on. That's nice because we had like no equipment before and they can finally let us look at the equipment menu here too. So we do have the, a hammer also. I can put that on and show you what that looks like briefly. But yeah, we had nothing on our head before. This apparently also just does like straight up nothing as far as I can tell. The base tunic. Same thing with the basic leggings as far as we can tell here. Hmm. All right, so this is the hub world. And unfortunately, it is very, very empty for the moment. So this is an NPC that gave us our second weapon. But that's about it. And that is that is the entirety of the hub right now. So what is the basic moveset of the hammer? So you got your light attack right there. That's the heavy attack. The skill looks like that, where it's like a big... Uh, it's a, like a big AoE. It doesn't look big, but it is a big AoE, essentially. The combo that worked best is if I went like that, which is basically two lights into a double heavy attack. You know, it works actually really well. I might not even like it better than the spear in some ways. Um, but yeah, then you just start a new run up at the top here, and that is pretty much the the gameplay loop that we got in Rotwood for the playtest right now. What do y'all think? What do you think? I, it's, I mean, it definitely has some great bones. There's definitely lots of good ideas. It's pretty fluid. I think there's a lot of good stuff going on. Um, they're obviously putting a lot of stock into the co-op aspect, so I hope that that comes through. Right now, it's only via, like, Steam friends that you can actually play with people. Um, or if you give them, like, a code, you know what I mean? So you, there's no public lobbies or anything of that nature. So that's why I couldn't really find anyone to play with for today. But, um, I think, what, what could it use so little help with? I mean, there's always some balancing stuff, and I think there was just some introductions that probably could have done better as a new player for me. Just seeing uh, some different things. I don't even necessarily think that there should be meta progression. I'm not that kind of guy that thinks that every game should have like lots of meta progression. Um, but you always do want some kind of carrot on the stick. And they do have the unlocks at least. So I don't know. They got a pretty good solid foundation. I think uh, the art looks great so far. And the animations are especially are top notch. All the enemies are really interesting to look at too. And are pretty well are almost all <laughs> uh, pretty well translated in terms of they're telling you what they're going to do, what kind of attack they're going to do. It just takes some getting used to. Some of those are pretty quick, especially for the beginning of the game, though, namely that that boss, you know what I mean? Anyway, hope you all enjoyed it. Remember to like, remember to comment, remember to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.